Hello, you have reached the Calenteer internal decision meeting for June 25th. The letter is dated, oh, what is the letter dated? The letter is dated May 25th. So uh, let us uh, introduce ourselves. I am Dorcas Is. I am the internal submissions herald for Calenteer. Uh, Gawain, I see you are listed next. Um. Well, I'm going to Miss Bridge. I've been doing this for a while, and I guess I'm still Green Anchor Herald Extraordinary uh, in Calenteer. Yes. Well, you're extraordinary everywhere, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go with that. Uh, Herveus, how about you? I'm Herveus Dromond, Morseless Herald. Um, I've been around a while, not as long as Dwayne. <coughs> Gottfried? I am Gottfried Saker. I am the external submissions herald for Kalantir. Etienne, you're on mute. Well, that's all right. Zanita, I see. I think you're on mute. I was. I am Zanita Basegio. I am Red Hawk Herald, which is the external commenting herald for Kalantir. I am also the Axe Root local herald. Kathleen, hello. Hello, I am Kathleen Inyanwi Lachlan. I am the Deputy Herald for the Canton of Axe Root. And Brigida. Hi, everybody. I'm Brigida Gold Falcon, Principal Herald for Calenteer. Okay. Etienne, have you come back? No. He's, yeah, he's got Mike. He had a, yeah, he had a pop up on that one. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, all right then. Um, as I say, we have 27 items to discuss. Let us. <laughs> Started. Item number one. Uh, we have a name for Aline DeFelda. It is an English fem feminine name found in Family Search. And the, uh, Gottfried, I know you added, let me hit F5, because I know you added a comment that had the, uh, the link for Family Search. There it is. Yes. Yes. Um, and DeFelda is an Anglo Norman surname from Wolf. Anything to say about it? I find no conflicts. It's good to me. Reason uh, pretty unremarkable, frankly. Yeah. All right. I will send. I will mark it. Send up. Okay. Now, uh, Anna Plantain, number two, a badge for Anna Plantain. Fieldless in saltier, a banana leaf burnt and a bunch of bananas, or? I think it's fine. I made sure and asked the uh, computer artist to use the exact same banana leaf from her device submission. Mm. Yeah. Good. All right, I will just mark that as send up. We're gonna have all the bananas. Yes. All right. Item number three is a name for Bree Cherick's wife. Uh, Bree is from OCM, and Cherick is an Anglo-Saxon name. And the construction of Cherick's wife is how they did it. Any comments? Okay. Okay. And up. And then for Bree's device. Her bend sinister, Azure and Sable, a Phoenix facing to Sinister, and a Continental Panther rampant Penterney Argent. Nothing to say? Is that a no. Continental Panther? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, the Continental Panthers as opposed to the Natural Panthers are all okay. and fiery and yeah. Okay. I was thinking the Continental was the natural, which is what threw me off. Well, well the English Panther has polka dots. The Continental Panther has the flames. They both have flames. Just the English Panther has polka dots. Okay, okay. And then the natural panther is a natural panther. Yep. He's a cat. Well then I'm just gonna mark that send up. Mm -hmm. Send up to 
And here we go. I'm sorry right. in advance. I'm sorry. And actually, I will also start with an apology because you handed this to me in February. You handed me the packet in February and then it got set aside. So here they are and it's my own dang fault. <laughs> you know, if I had jumped on it right away, I might have, I don't know, split them up. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Boar's Anvil, Order of. We have Boar of the Late Period Surname, found in Family Search. Anvil, found, it's a period heraldic chart. The only thing I'm looking at, and it, it's something that, that Motor was saying, and it's annoying me because It's it's how nitpicky we're getting, and sometimes it, it we're, we're our own worst enemies. But I want to make sure everything's dressed right, dress. So he's looking at oh. is the the thing that 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 Volk had said about following exactly on the medieval secular order names. Plus, I remember. Wait, uh, Godfrey, Godfrey, Godfrey. Yes. Uh, his issue is pretty much um, not a thing. Because okay. We're using the late English surname to give a name as the saint's name. Okay. Okay. That's one way to look at it. And also, I am pretty sure that there is some precedent somewhere talking about given names. It doesn't have to be a saint's given name, it can also be a thing belonging to this surname. Okay. So it's the anvil that belonged to the family named the family named Boar. Okay. You know these guys. Okay. And there's a precedent somewhere, and I haven't thought to look for it. So I tell you what, let us just assume that it's not a problem. We will discuss yep. it apart from that. And if in the external letter they come back and say all of these have to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, and I'll be prepared for that if it does happen. And I don't think it will. Uh, yeah. I, I don't see a case for returning it in Kingdom. Right. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have Boar and we have Anvil. Are we good with that? Yeah. All right. mm -hmm. um, I will also, and this is something that might speed things up, uh, Adi Aaron's issue about documenting the anvil or the dagger or the needle or whatever, right. documenting it as a period charge and or a period word for the charge. I think if it's in Mistholm, I mean, he says right here, a period charge found in the arms of Wollstone, whatever Temp Henry VI means. Yeah. Time, okay. time of Hen during the reign of Henry VI. Mm. Ah, time of. Uh, Time up, time up, time. okay. Uh, so if it's a period heraldic charge, I don't think. That's enough. Yeah, yeah. Cause if nothing else, could it not just for my own edification at this point, could it not be argued that, Hey, no matter how it's spelled in period, we could always go for the LA. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. So I didn't just miss a step here. I was like, I found it as a thing, right? Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, I did go through and the ones that were missing, I found something in uh, the MED forum. If, if we want to be super special, or not special, um, we could just copy Odierne's comment into there as well, just to like cover all our bases. Well, I, I probably will when I, when I format it for the external, because it's kind of like I try to uh, head every argument off at the pass beforehand as I can. So maybe it's too much, but I, I like, I like the fact of, of having everything out there that we can, even to, we've discussed that we're willing to go forward with it. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. Um, Herveus, is that your mouse going clickety crunch, ratchet, ratchety sound? It might be my swivel chair. Oh, Oh, okay. That's the noise you hear? Yes. Okay. Ah. 
if, yeah, it's, the, if it's getting to you, I could switch to the other chair, which is much more please silent. Do. Please do, because what's on the internet, what's on YouTube is forever. Um, okay, while he's doing that, I will just say number four, uh, Barony of Cordonwee, Order of Boar's Anvil. I'm just going to mark that as send up. Yes. Yep. All right, number five. Barony of Cordonwee, Order of Boar's Axe. Same boar, axe as a period charge. And Adiern found axe in the OED. Why do they want to have an axe uh, named for the uh, Rattan Fighting uh, Award? I don't know, but that's none of my business. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why that, I don't know. I did. It is purple. <laughs> Because physics. Exactly. It's not for us to say. We put right. sword for the other one. Yeah. Well. Well. Okay. All right. So, shall we move on to number six? Hey. Yep. Hey. Barony of Corda. We order of boar's bow. Same boar. Bow is a period heraldic charge. Yep. 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 All right. Send up. Number seven, Barony of Cordon We Order of Boar's Cup. Same boar, cup is a period heraldic charge. Yep. Okay. Item number eight, Barony of Cordon We Order of Boar's Dagger. Same boar, dagger is a period heraldic charge. Yep. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay. Item number nine. Barony of Cordon We Order of Boar's Dart. Same boar. And dart is not so much a period heraldic charge, but the Middle English Dictionary has dart, which is some kind of weapon. Yep. All good? Good. Item number 10, Barony of Cordon We, Order of Boar's Heart of Cordon We. See who you are. Okay, good. I spelled that right. Uh, same boar. A heart is a period heraldic charge, and Cordon We is a locative added to clear a conflict, right? Yes. Okay. And. Item number 11, Barony of Cordon We, Order of Boar's Lance. Same boar, lance is a period heraldic charge and also found in the Middle English Dictionary. Okay. Don't be shoot. All right. And it is number 12, Barony of Cordon We, Order of Boar's Lantern. Uh, same boar, lantern is a heraldic charge found in period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, number 13, barony of Cordon We, order of boar's needle. Same boar as before, needle is a period heraldic charge. Okay, Zanita. Yes. Question on your comment there. Mm -hmm. Is the question alpha 1425, was the question mark part of the citation or was that yes. a, okay, so then that's not a, 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 a something that went awry. And, okay. No, all of Thank those you. I think have it. That's just, I, I copied and pasted and I didn't entirely right. really know what I was copying and pasting. Nope. Good to go. Good to go. Thank you. Yep. The time only as much as the point of a needle and no more. Wow, I'm going to start using a uh, point of a needle to refer to the second. And then oh. Cool. All right. Item number 14, Barony of Cordon We Order of Boar's Plow. Same boar. A plow is a period heraldic charge. And I love this spelling of plow. Yes. 
The tough cough says he plows the dough. <laughs> <laughs> Through the bow. Oh, dear. Ah, to deal with the grass in the slough. Ah, uh, okay, so Barony of Cordon Wee, item number 15, Barony of Cordon Wee, Order of Boar's Sword. Once again, Boar is from Family Search, and a sword is a period heraldic charge. Nothing to hold it back. Bailey's come. Wow. Number 16, Barony of Cordon Wee, Order of Boar's Wheel. Same boar from Family Search and Wheel, period, heraldic charge. Nothing to, to hold it back. Mm -mm. All right. And, you know, that that was fast because that's, that's the worst of them. There's all those yep. coronial order names. Okay, number 17, David Ben Benjamin, new badge. Yeah. He, really wants the, he really wants the hand. Oh, boy. He so. could probably try to do the hand at a later point, but not with the laurel wreath on it. Yeah. Right. And he's going to have to have, um, you know, documentation and such. I say, and Volk found uh, an LOR precedent for the use of this particular position of the hand. It's just that laurel wreath. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's the insta blowing is. No yep. Doubt about it. yep. So, do we? I guess I'd like to know. Well, we probably can come back to it because I would like to know whether I could, I'm the consulting herald on this. It was my mistake to, to, to tell him that he could have it because he's a Laurel. So my bad. Um, I guess I'd like to, to circle back to this one when we're done with the letter and mm -hmm. see if uh, this hand position, just, just one of them, as opposed to two of them doing the thing, you know, if you could have just one of them. So let's circle back to that. But for now, I've got a note saying this is returned because of the laurel wreath. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, and this one is near and dear to my heart. Uh, number 18, uh, Dorcas Whitecap, new heraldic title, Missile Thrush Herald. I wondered what you were going to pick. It, it conflicts <laughs> with Jethro Tull. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I could get a letter from presumption. That's exactly why I want to. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I will say that all of the documentation was provided by Modar. Therefore, it, oh. it, it'll get registered, obviously. Absolutely. Just send it up. Yeah. yeah. Modar says. <laughs> no, it's, it's righteous. It's righteous. Okay, then. Um, I will mark it, send up. And yeah, if, uh, if anybody at external has any uh, issues with the spelling, then by golly, uh, lingua anglica. Yeah, I think you should be able to get away with it with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number nineteen, new name for Helias Hawk. Helias is found under Elias in men's given names from thirteenth century England, and Hawk is documented in St. Gabriel Port, Report 953. Oh, and actually it came from Black, so both no photocopy. Mm -hmm. And dated, so yeah. That's, yep. yep. Um, is men's given name from early 13th century England by Talon Gwinnick, is that one of the new no photocopy articles? Mm. Um, I can check. I yeah, don't. They, yeah, I, it was pretty recent. Yeah, 
I think they there's a lot of them, but in in some ways, if we've got a direct link to it that you can go to the to the. Because by uh, the same token, I can easily go yeah. to the go to the link, save the pages to PDF, convert the PDF to JPEG, and and add it to the docs. But you've already got it right there in the docs. Yeah. Or, yep. Yeah. And it would if if well if worst came come if worst case scenario occurs then i mean we could always put it in the docs in the in the packets that go up but i don't think we it's, necessarily need to have it right it's the, already in the docs and yes we should right. if it's if it's the thing about putting things in docs and not showing them right there in the entry is that not everybody can get to the docs so that's it, why so i'm just used to seeing okay. some says uh you know paper copy included or something so that's why i forgot that oh look they did somebody did i did oh good for you um also you can i'm going to put this in the chat um it shows up in dmnes too oh there you go yeah. all right mm. lovely mm. All right, so I'm just going to say, number 19, I'm just going to say send it up. Um, okay, number 20, a device for Catherine Northrup, Her Bend Sinister Vert and Argent, a Catamount Passant, and a Bourdure Counterchanged. I had some worries about the artwork because it looks really modern to me, but I stole it directly from Oscar from a, uh, a submission, a device that was recently registered. Yeah, that's a, that's a catamount. Um, I did f to go back to the previous one. Oh, sorry. sorry. Cause I, I found the, uh, the thingy. Um, talons are not, uh, no photocopies. Okay. Thank you. So we should at least have it with the packet, but if we got a right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. In so the eye. Deal with it like normal. Check. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, number 20, Catherine Northrup device, that catamount. Are we all good with that catamount? Yeah. I think it's a very nice yeah. or, or very nice device. All right. Uh, number 21 and 22, they go together. Lasser Tellier, acceptance of badge. Uh, the badge is per Chevron Ghouls and Argent, two decrescents Argent, and an owl of Frenti per pure. Uh, is there, since it's an administrative thing and it costs nothing, do I need to attach any pictures of the badge? Nope. No. Nope. No. No. Thank you. No. Nope. Because I ain't got them. <laughs> nope. You, you, you got to, I give this and I take this. And that's. Yep. Yeah, those are the easy, easy ones thing. to do. All right. Well, then, same thing. Um, so, Lasser is accepting it. And number 22, Morvalek is, uh, is transferring it. And I watched him sign all these legal documents. Yep. So. And just for, for future reference, this is the easy one because A, it's in Kingdom, and B, it's on our letter. The yeah. ones that get trickier when you have to go cross Kingdom on different letters. Oh, yeah, like the one I had to deal with. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Are we ready to move on to number 23? Yes, yep. ma'am. Yep. All right. Soma Tirva Daughter. Uh, her name is currently in process, but uh, she said, hey, I know what I want for uh, for my device and for my badge. Uh, or in Bend, three wolf's paw prints <coughs> Azure. We did mention the step from period practice for the use of a paw print. Oh. Yeah. They are in Bend and they are Bendwise. 
And because there's no bend, we have to say that outright. Yeah, no, good. And by the way, her name is already registered. Did it? it okay. Just September 30th. Right. Yep. Oh, and I put that in there. Okay, that will teach me to drink while, you know, doing the, con the decision meeting. All right. I, we were drinking while we were making this up, so. Yes, we were. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, okay, so 23 device, I'm going to mark that to send up. Uh, similar, 24, a badge for Soma Tirva daughter, or a wolf's paw print, bendwise, azure. I am super happy that other people found no conflicts because I thought I was skipping something. I really did. Yeah. <laughs> this is um, so the the bendwise probably helped. Yes. And the color. Yeah, because yeah, this if I'm one remembering correctly, there was one that was pale wise, but not so we tilted it mm -hmm. to clear. This it. one and the last one, something just occurs to me just now. Um, I know we don't count any difference between different paw prints. But is this a good canine paw print? We had that discussion. Um, it was drawn during an event. She's okay with it just becoming paw print. Well, I'm happy to call it Wolf's paw print if he wants that, just as long as it really does look a can like a canine paw print. The, the single one looks more canine to my eye than the, the, the triplet. The triplet, kind of, I'm not sure what they look like, but... Well, if the nail was longer, I'd, I'd say almost a little bit bearish, but it's still lupine yeah. enough to, to yeah. yeah. Okay. So the, the pictures that I have seen, uh, you know, because I went online, Google Image, a, a canine paw print, so the, the pad of the paw looks kind of like a nose. It's, it's, it's yeah. more triangular. Yeah. Um, we didn't look at it when we gave it to the artist to draw, and she just said, here, paw print. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if this is more bear-like. And I know she wants wolf paw print because the tear, tear the daughter, I know she wants wolf. She does want wolf, um, but we did talk to her. She'll be okay if it's just paw print. And we can always go back and, and redo it. All if, right. If an artist note comes out or anything like that, but I think we should send it up as is. Works for me. All right, so I've got that marked to send up. Now, item number 25, are we ready to move on? Yep. 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 Number 25, a new name for Tish's Kato. Kato is the feminine given name, and Tish's is a descriptive by name. And we do have hard copies attached. Yep, looks good. No conflict. Mm -hmm. And, and I sure hope Tish is the right way to pronounce it because that's what's stuck in my head. That's what she says. Cool. All right, so I'm marking that one to send up. And I guess the last one, number 26, Wilfred de Lockwood, a new name. We have Wilfred from Withacomb, and it's a saint's name, so the time period doesn't matter. And de Lockwood is from Rainey and Wilson, and it's dated to 1352. I have no conflicts. There's only one other Lockwood registered. Nice. And it's in Calentier. Yeah. yeah. Good to go. Huh? Yep. This is the fastest commentary meeting ever. <laughs> right? Well, hey, everything was dress right dress. Well, All right. So. Well, hey, listen, I think last last month's was pretty fast. There so were just three of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um Okay, well, let me go through my notes, and oh, it's also this. Look at this love fest. Okay, here, here are my notes. Um, item number one, a name. Send it up to Laurel. Item number two, a badge. Send it up. 
Item number three, the name send up and the device send up. Item number four is a name, send it up. Five is a name, send it up. Six, send it up. Seven, up. Eight, up. Nine, up. Ten, device send up. Well, all the way to item number 16 as uh, a name to send it up. Then item number 17 is the badge for Dov, and we must return it because I'm an idiot. Item number 18 is a title, and we will send that up. Number 19, a name, send it up. Number 20, a device, send it up. 21, acceptance of transfer, send it up. 22, transfer, send it up. 23 is a device, send it up. 24 is a badge, send it up. 25 is a name, send that up. And 26 is a name. Send I, just, that up. I just checked the YouTube and no comments. Thank you. Because yep. I always. Um, okay, well, the next decision mate meeting will be on July on the 23rd. That is a Monday. I can't think of anything that would prevent that or need us to reschedule it. Um, that letter is already uh, posted, that internal letter that we'll be discussing. It's open for commentary. So um, thank you all for, for coming and thanks for watching. I'm going to go um, ahead and click the wait, stop wait, button. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Oh, breaks, breaks. Okay. I'd like to turn some attention back to number 19. Elias Hawk. The, the the documentation asserts that we found this in the St. Gabriel report, which appears to footnote it to black. Yes. Um, it ain't in there. Say again over. I could not find H A W K E in black. There's um, you know. Okay. You're saying the the Gabriel report, we can't find the... the... No, we can find the St. Gabriel in black, surnames of Scotland. Black, He's not finding the, Hawk. The, the, the Gabriel report asserts Hawk is an English name, dot, dot, which we dated to 1379, and then they have parens 2, which says source 2. That's how I read it. I can't read it any other way. Source number 2 is black. And uh, there's no header for there's no header for Hawk except in H A W O C, which is taken from Old English Hawk Hawk. Right. But we don't find H A W K E in black anywhere that it's easy to find. I just posted a family search article. Okay. Um, it, it, also in Rainey and Wilson. Uh, Rennie and Wilson, I could not find that spelling documented either. How about Bardsley? Uh, I don't have English family name dated 1273, 1379, and 1577 in a dictionary of English and Welsh surnames. Okay. Bardsley. Okay. Uh, like, that, that works. It's just the documentation there asserts, makes assertions which I was not able to verify by going back to the sources. But yeah. if you can cite Bardsley for it, then. Well, no, okay. Once, once again, um, I am just picking up somebody else's documentation. There oh, was yeah. a Gwyneth Hawk submitted in 2008. Now, mm -hmm. I own Bardsley, but my box of books are out in the car because I take them everywhere yeah. I go. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you cite Bardsley on the letter, then. Well, uh, you'll notice in the this. chat, Etienne found an yeah. uh, SCA article. Yep. Okay. Yep. So all both. Right. So I'll take and I'll pop both those blah, 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 both of those into Oscar. Yeah. So that I can reference that. But I just I did look back at the article, uh, Hervéus, and it, for number two is saying they couldn't find it in Scotland. Yes. But, but, but so they, yeah. They, it says you know Hawk is an English name which we dated the thirteen seventy nine parents right. to parents, which sure looks like a footnote number. 
Yes. Uh, and and you go down, and number two is black. And um, you know, the, okay. Here's here's the thing too, though, is that we have been given that Saint Gabriel reports do not need further documentation. Well, I, I you know, and some of them are of dubious dubious reliability. On um, this one, True. obviously, yeah. is. But we shouldn't not, punish the submitter for that. No. Yeah. Well, and this is a case where it was easy to find backup, a backup source to, to, to make the case. I yeah. certainly wouldn't be returning it. And yeah. and the the source that Etienne found is in fact uh, heraldry.sca.org. Right. So, yeah. So, so that's, I, I so. use this awesome website. It's called morseless.org. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, who would do something like that? Which, which search? Which search? <laughs> which of the search <laughs> you know, there are multiple places you could type shit in to search for it. Which one were you using? The name one. Yeah, which which actually is uh, Elspeth. Elspeth wrote that. Um, I, I, I love it. I simply plugged it in. Okay, so all but, is well. And wasn't there one more you wanted to go back to, Dorcas? Oh, it was. Let me see. Yeah. Dobbs. Uh, Dobbs. Dobbs. Yes, Dobbs. Oh, yeah, Dobbs. Right. right. Number 17. I want to talk about whether he can have just one single Spock salute or if the, the, the priestly blessing, you have to have both of them in the de design. I think you're going to run across the fact of just one is too modern. I, I think that's going to be the <sighs> issue. Yeah. I think he could possibly try to get both of them across. Um, but just the one, I think people are going to ding on it to being too modern. Um, it is, in the chat, I put a link to the actual blessing. Does St. Gabriel have any uh, uh, articles on Jewish heraldry? Jewish I have names, no idea. Yes, I do believe. Well, that might be one place to look and see if they're uh, is anything helpful there? Well, so um, the the two hands uh, is in Mist Home, and Mist Home uh, cites, and it is findable because I know I found it, but I didn't save the link anywhere. Um, Mist Home cites a person in period who had the two hands in his device. Hmm. So, so the the pair of hands. In priestly blessing, the pair of hands is a period charge. So the question is: Is just a single hand going to be considered okay? Because yes, I can see that it could be obtrusively modern. Except, of course, Leonard Nimoy stole it from an ancient, ancient gesture. Yeah, but it's found in period. But but it, the two hands doing that are found in period armory. So it's it's it. You know that's that's a that's a powerful counter to that to that assertion. Yes, it, yes, it may be modern, but it's period. But then again, you've got the two hands compared to the one hand, and do we have any documentation of the singular hand being used? And that I don't think we've got. No. Yeah, that's 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 a concern, and I'm not sure. Just because it was done in period doesn't mean we're going to get past it for ob obtrusive modernity. Um, fair enough. You I'm looking for a, um, a new source uh, coming up here. Uh, early next month, I'm going uh, to a party at the home of one of our charter members here in Shadowdale. Mm. And she is very active in her local synagogue who just got a new rabbi who is from Germany, wow. and I'm going to talk to her about uh, the possibility of uh, being a source for uh, uh, Jewish, period Jewish names and heraldry. I don't know if she would be inclined toward that at all, but I'm going to check with her. That would be Very cool. cool. Mm -hmm. If you could ask them what the name of one hand doing that, uh, doing that sign yeah. would be. Yeah. Because it, it needs to be blazonable. Yeah. Right, because go koanim is the plural for priest. So it's, I think, in Berkat koanim, 
you know, we be I've been using the phrase in priestly blessing, but really it means in the blessing of the priests. <laughs> and so it's not like plural about the hands, it's plural about the priest. Ah. So um okay, well, that's something you know, and, and it is beyond it's above our pay grade in yeah. any yeah. Well, and it, and it just depends on if he wants to do something to send it up without the laurel wreath on it or not. Um, yes, I have chit chatted with him just a little bit. He is, he's considered, I, I told him, you know, how about a sprig or a branch or a leaf? Yeah. And he's considering that. Yeah, that might be the best, best way to go. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, I'll also let him know that if he wants to do it with just the one hand, he'll be a test case. Mm -hmm. And if he wants to send it up with two hands, probably not a test case. Yeah. Oh, hmm. okay. And two hands maintaining a sprig of sorts. No, each hand charged with. Yeah. Each hand charged with. Okay. Yeah. I can see that too. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Cool. I look forward to it. Yeah. Okay, now are we done? I think so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Now that you just bragged on how quick this one went. <laughs> <laughs> hey, then we had time to do this other stuff right. that was also very interesting. We had addendums to the footnotes to the notes. <laughs> well, I have I have something that uh, may or may not be of interest, but is not particularly pertinent. Um so I could go ahead and stop the broadcast, or we could include it in the YouTube. Well, it could just be, it could be after the broadcast is fine. Okay, okay just real quick, um, any Herald who's watching this, start planning your trip to Cordon We, uh, July of 2019 for yeah. Known World Heraldic and Scribal Symposium. Yeah. Yay! 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 What classes do you want to teach? My wife was happy about that yes. choice because she'll be there with the shop. Cool. Get your string. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and click this red button to end the broadcast, and then we can keep chatting. And those of you who wonder what we're going to talk about, you should have come to the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Everybody wave bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.